Now, we come to the field of an electric dipole. We have seen what a dipole is. Now, we, we try to find out what the field is. And since we know that the dipole is nothing but two point charges, we will keep on applying the formula for the field at a point, right? So the formula for the field at a point is this 1 upon 4 pi epsilon naught fine now <clears throat> now we know that we know that the dipole is the dipole is like this okay now if someone asks me to find out the field at any arbitrary point then then I'll take this distance take this distance and by the parallelogram and, and let us say this is minus Q and this is plus Q then the field here due to the plus Q will be radially outward the field here due to minus Q will be radially inward and a bit less than this because this distance is greater than this so, so slightly smaller than that and we can add them vectorially we can vectorially add them so that's how the field at any general point can be found out but finding out so, so it, is, it is basically the principle of superposition that we are applying that the field due to 1 plus this field due to the second and since there are two, so there are only two fields at a point, right? Now, it is far easier to find the field along two directions, okay? Number one, field along the axis of the dipole field along the axis of the dipole and field in the equatorial plane field along the axis okay this is the axis of the dipole this is the axis of the dipole and 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 as we know in case of earth since this is the axis of the earth what is the equator equator is something like this so this is the equator so the so the line that is the plane that is perpendicular to the axis and and passes through the center okay so it is exactly the same definition which which we talk about when we talk about an equatorial plane here so 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 equatorial plane is this any point along any point on this plane will be on the equatorial plane okay so we first decide to find out the field along an axis field along an along the axis of the dipole axis of the dipole we have our dipole like this
the distance between the charges is 2a. Let us say we try to find out the field here. The field here. And, and we have we have already said we already know that the distances are measured distances are measured from the center of the dipole so we we decide to measure the distance from here okay so this is the distance r fine we do not give preference to any of the charges while measuring the distance. So we decide to measure it from the center. Now, now you will also understand why this distance has been stated as 2a. Why? Because half of it, okay, half of it becomes a. If it had been a, then half of it would have become a upon 2 and that would have introduced some amount of of rational numbers into some fractions into the additions and subtractions we can avoid it by taking 2a that's all we could have taken it as as a so so what is this distance the distance from here is what from the positive charge this is r this is a because this is 2a so half of it is a so it is r minus a so, so this distance is r minus a. This distance is r plus a. So the distance from the positive charge is R minus A, from the negative charges R plus A. Fine. Had it been A, <clears throat> had we designated this distance as A, then this would have become R minus A by 2 and this would have become R plus A by 2. Okay. Taking it as 2A makes it simpler. The expression becomes simpler. Fine. Now. Now, due to, due to this, due to the positive charge, the field is radially outward like that. Due to the negative charge, the field, so, so this is the field due to the positive charge E plus E. Now, the field due to the negative charge, the field due to the negative charge, I should have written this R minus A a, a bit lower. So, so, R minus A is this, right? Now, the field due to the negative charge would be radially inward, inward, and, and the radial direction is what? This is the radial. What is the radial? This is the radial. It will be slightly less than that. Okay, it will be slightly less than that for the positive charge. So it is something like this. This is E minus Q. Okay, slightly less. And we see that they are collinear vectors. They are parallel to the same line, pointing in the opposite direction. So if I sum them, what do I do? I, I pick this vector, put its tail here and so that its head will come here, right? So, so we will have to subtract the magnitudes, fine? So we will be dealing it with magnitudes pretty well understanding that the magnitude will be the difference of the two and what will be the direction? This is the bigger vector minus the smaller vector. So, so it will still point in the so, so it will add up like this, no? E plus Q 
I shift this tail here. This is E minus Q. So what is the resultant from the tail of the first to the head of the last? So, so this is my total electric field at the point. Fine. So we, we set out to do that. What is E plus Q? That is 1 upon 4 pi epsilon naught plus Q upon R minus A whole square. What is E minus Q? The field due to the negative charge. It is 1 upon 4 pi epsilon naught into Q upon R plus A whole square. Right? It is due to the negative charge, right? It is due to the negative charge. So, so the vector will be in the opposite direction. But, but I am not writing negative here. Or, or maybe you can write negative. And, and they are to be subtracted, right? Why? Because the vectors are in opposite direction. So, so the field at, at point P. Therefore, field at point P is equal to E plus Q plus E minus Q which is equal to 1 upon 4 pi epsilon naught Q upon R minus A whole square this is a negative, so minus 1 upon 4 pi epsilon naught q upon r plus a whole square. <clears throat> now this gives me q upon 4 pi epsilon naught 1 upon r minus a whole square minus 1 upon r plus a whole square. Now that is equal to Q upon 4 pi epsilon naught. I take the LCM to be R minus A whole square into R plus A whole square. This term goes there R plus A whole square minus R minus A whole square. Okay. Now what is that? This is equal to Q upon 4 pi epsilon naught What is this? R square plus 2AR plus A square or, or why should I do that? This is A square minus B square So it is A plus B R plus A is A R minus A A plus B into A minus b right this is a square into b square is a into b whole square so a into b is what r minus a into r plus a whole square so it is q upon 4 pi epsilon naught this is this is 2r and this is 2a 2R into 2A divided by R square minus A square whole square. Correct. So that gives me, that gives me, gives me Q into 4AR, Q upon 4 pi epsilon naught divided by <coughs> divide by r square to the power 4 because we are taking r to be very very greater than a if r is very very greater than a then r square is the the a square term becomes absolutely negligible right so so it becomes r to the power 4 this becomes this, sorry this is r square to the power 2 so that makes it, that makes it 
r to the power 4 and hence and hence this cuts this and it becomes q so it becomes q into 4a upon r cube now i can decide to write it as to write it as 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 2 into 2a cube okay it is q 4a cube so 4a cube so i am writing it as 2 into 2a cube okay upon 4 pi epsilon naught r cube now what is 2a cube 2a cube as we had seen is the dipole moment which we denote by p we denote it by p and the direction of the dipole moment is is from the <coughs> from the negative to the positive this is the direction of the dipole moment now there is an interesting thing that can be seen that my net field that my net field which we had seen here was pointing is pointing in this direction and that is the direction of the of the dipole moment so i had told you it is it is not for nothing that we have defined the direction of the dipole moment as this and it is not for nothing that we have defined it to be 2a q because it actually appears because it actually appears in the expression for the electric field we understand so now now this is all about the magnitude now we would like to introduce we would like to introduce the 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 direction to it and how do i do that so i i see that the direction of the field is the same as the direction of p so i write it as a p vector okay so e e e total so e total okay this is the e total okay e total is equal to is equal to 2 into p upon 4 pi epsilon naught r cube so what does this p do this p has now become become it is representing two things it is representing the direction and 2a q term automatically got incorporated into it right so so the net field is this This is the net field, obviously with a vector sign. This is the, this is the actual field due to a dipole. Actual field due to a dipole. Now one more important thing. It is not that for this specific case it is pointing in this direction. You go anywhere on the axis the field will point in the same direction let us try to see even if we were here then we will be closer to the negative charge so this vector will be bigger due to so, so due to the negative charge this is the field is it not due to this positive charge the field is like this but smaller why because the magnitude of q is the same magnitude of q is the same but the distance is more so e plus q if these two vectors sum then their resultant points in this direction the head to tail addition you put this 